guys, welcome back to Westbridge. Um, finally finished up this uh, land roller that I've been working on for some time now. I um, just finally got the uh, courage to finish it, and now we're going to test it out. We have our 775E here. So, first things first. Um, it's kind of a basic thing, really. Uh, what it's meant to do is put down um, water or moisture on um, soil mod maps. It is 45 foot. Washable and all that good stuff. And um, these rear wheels were giving a little bit of an issue when um, I was scripting it, so I made them extra components in these rear wheels and solved the issue I was having. So, anyways. Uh, we got brake lights, we got working lights. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to it, really. You can see that it uh, moves, and um, kind of snake-like, and if we go up and has all kinds of nice flex to it. Go ahead and unfold it. Lift up with the cylinders. So these are pretty cool animations. Uh, I'm still working on getting the, the lock working timing because it's as you can see it's first and last so that's kind of annoying anyways load this uh, oops, up to 14 and we'll go ahead and we'll what field is this actually it's 15 And as you can see, all it does is add moisture. Um, I have it scripted as a fertilizer right now, just so I can test it on the, the uh, base game like this. But um, we're cruising across the field at like 20, 24 miles an hour. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, all it's gonna do is put down water, not fertilize or spray anything on a soil mod map. So. Um, it will have absolutely zero function on a regular non-soil mod map. So we're um, cruising along. It uh, runs pretty well, actually. I'm really surprised at how well, and I've got some <laughs> crazy flexing going on right now. So basically, uh, this is, um, we're going to use this before and after planting um, to mimic, like, um, you know, or maybe we can roll over some corn stalks with it, or who knows. So 
since we don't have a challenger yet, I'm going to go ahead and pick up our row crop. So we actually own one of these. And then I'm going to come up here. I have it in cultivators right now. Uh, you can see with my other um, stuff. I need to fix that store image for the crops, but here it is. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know why it does that. Anyways, so I guess we'll reset that. Um, the whole point of it is kind of a cheap way to put down moisture back in the field. Or if you're trying to do a kind of like real farming, you roll your uh, soybean ground to push rocks in and get better seed soil contact, um, soybeans or any kind of trade work really. So I'm going to grab this guy again. good size for this T320. See how this 320 handles it. Seems to handle it very nice. That way, we have uh, another piece of equipment that we can uh, for a T8 tractor. So pretty basic textures on it, basic burns, it's pretty much just black, yellow, and a little bit of gray. Um, some bold textures, um, simple normal maps. I really like the black, uh, the, the black and yellow, kind of like a bumblebee. It's uh, 45 foot.
see we're not using any money or fertilizer. There's no capacity on this. So uh, basically all it takes is time and fuel to put moisture back in the, in the ground for soil mud, and, um, which is nice on our bottom line. Otherwise you're going to be burning up, you know, probably 18,000, 20,000 in, in uh, between fuel and buying water, which is kind of silly, you have to purchase water. If you're done, you just hold it back up. Does its thing. If I were to unfold it, you can watch the hitch goes up and down. Levels the whole rig. So that's nice. All cylinders are working. thing left to do is adjust that locking mechanism and it would be good to go. Pretty sweet little go back on the road. down the road pretty nice. Thank you.